off. Georgetown has James Riley, one of the best of the country, 19th in the nation in face-off percentage, but he loses the opening face-off of this game. The win for Luke Williams, and Marquette has the opening possession of this afternoon's game. Cowan to miss the first three games of the season with injury. One of the captains for the Golden Eagles, and back-to-back face-off wins for Luke Williams, who started the day 50.3%. Grant Evans has been the best face-off man for Marquette so far this year at 63%. Mike Kelly from North Carolina. Will Bowen, who also transferred from North Carolina two years ago, talked about Dordovic transferring from Syracuse. Now the first face-off win of the game for James Riley. Here is Dordovic. Quarter. Marquette won the first two face-offs, but James Riley winning the most recent. It's a third-team All-American last year for the Hoyas. It led the Big East with a 61% face-off percentage this year. He's at 57% if you round up from 568. 2-1 Hoyas, and now looking to build. Graham Bundy, senior from St. Louis. Grant Evans on this face-off against James Riley. And Riley, fairly clean win for Georgetown. That's three straight. Roy is now looking to really seize early. The f or he already had become just a couple of days ago. The fourth player in Marquette history with 100-plus career points. He's up to 104 now by my count with two more goals today. And Georgetown gets it right back. Tucker Dordovic. Back to a two goal lead for Georgetown on Dordovic's 29th of the year. No wasted time by the Hoyas on offense. Took about 15 seconds to reassume the two goal lead for Georgetown. Procedure against Georgetown, Marquette ball. That was Carson Milburn on the faceoff for the Hoyas against Luke Williams. Georgetown led 4-2. Stegman, 14 goals now on the year. Senior from Naperville, Illinois. Williams and Riley going at it. Riley, the face-off win for Georgetown. Georgetown as a team, third of the Big East, 5-4-3 face-off winning percentage. Marquette is second at 5-53. 5-4 Hoyas. Face-off win for Grant Evans, the transfer into Marquette. And the shot whipped high by Cowan. Evans was Division Three All-American two times before transferring to Marquette for his grad season. Now has 32 on the season. What well, might be the final face-off of the first quarter, won by Riley. Down to a few seconds left, five seconds to be exact. Dordovic double teamed, passes it diagonally through the teeth of the defense there as the buzzer sounds. Nothing decided after one quarter, except for the fact that Devin Cowan from Marquette has a hat trick. It's Tucker Dordovic for Georgetown. And now Riley evens up the faceoffs with that win, looks to get his sixth goal of the year, but it's off target with the shot. Georgetown keeps it just underway in the second quarter. 5-5. Five, five. Face-off win for Marquette. And a turnover on the Hoyas come the other way with the long stick. 
Tabanovic. Dordovic can't get the pass. Now he picks it up on a bounce. Picking up his 18th goal of the season. Another transfer, impact transfer for Georgetown from Colgate, who was a two-time All-Patriot League player. Grad student from Darien, Connecticut. Georgetown back up by a pair. Go to the face-off X here, where it's 8-6 in favor of Marquette. Williams and Riley were all tied up. It allowed the wing, Logan Crines, to come in, scoop it up for the Golden Eagles, but then throw it away, trying to get it down low. Georgetown out shooting Marquette, 18 to 60. Stegman the assist, O'Grady the goal. O'Grady, who was the Big East freshman of the year last year. Marquette ball. Over to David Lamarca. Those rankings in the country. Opening face off of the third quarter. Riley winning it for Georgetown. Seventh face off. Well, actually, it's going to end up with Marquette here. Don Riley had. Won that for Will Tabanovic. But it'll be Marquette ball here. Third quarter underway. Fourth time we've been tied today. Sounds like there's a monsoon outside right now. At the pounding of the rain on the dome here. Hopefully everybody got back inside to see the Georgetown at 2-0. Denver with their win earlier today. They're now 2-1. Villanova beat Providence earlier today. They are also 2-1. So Marquette, if Marquette can win this game, you would then have four teams at 2-1. Go in the second quarter. Got the O'Grady goal with 439 in the second. It was 8-7 at the break. And now the first three goals of the third quarter. Blanc, Blanc, Stegman. And Marquette has a two-goal lead. And Georgetown making a change in goal. Danny Hinks has come on. Hinks, who started the first three games of the year, the transfer from Dartmouth, is in there now for the sixth time overall this season. So Georgetown making the change in net. Second for Solomon today, ninth of the season. Had 20 last year at North Carolina. At 76 over his career there, over 49 games. Wallace Halpert with the pass ahead. The Hoy is clear. Dordovic the hat trick. Scoring the goal with less than a minute to go. Here the third, Hoyas trying to take the lead back. Riley off the face-off win, takes it to goal and scores his sixth of the season. And just like that, in the span of nine seconds, Georgetown scores moments after the man up was over. And then Riley, the face-off win, somehow keeps it away from that trail check. And Riley, Makes it 11 10 Hoyas. They did count the Dordovic goal as a man up. I guess you give it to him, even though the time had officially elapsed. They hadn't yet gotten back to full strength on the field. 11 10 now after the Riley goal. 23 seconds to go in the third quarter. O'Grady trying to tie it back up. Riley against Evans. Stalemate to begin with. The wings are buzzing around, waiting to join the fray once that ball pops free. If it does, it finally does. It's Logan Crines. No, excuse me. David Lamarca had it, lost it, got it back. And Marquette will immediately use a timeout. They want this possession badly. Evan with 8.46 to go.
Marquette's first goal in about 13 minutes. Tying it at 11. The last goal came at 6.38 of the third quarter. First goal that Hinks has. He had three against Providence two weeks ago. Williams with a face-off win. Marquette now trying to push the lead back to two. Riley with the checks to the arm by Williams. Picks up the face-off win. He scored a goal earlier in the third quarter off a of face-off. He gives it up this time. Five lead changes, seven ties in this game. Neither team is led by more than two. With 319 left. Marquette now gone cold at the face-off X until Williams wins there. Flag coming in. There's a penalty before the shot. Play is whistled down. And Mar Marquette will have the man up. I think Marquette. Both teams even. 15-15 of the face-offs. The wings join. Crines shuffling it forward, and he has it. And Marquette calls a timeout. They will have the ball with 53 seconds left. Down 14. There are 15 seconds left. If Georgetown wins this, they have a timeout they can use. Riley wins the faceoff, gets it ahead. Timeout called with 10 seconds. So now the new overtime. Marquette scoring twice in the final 62 seconds, including off a rebound, Jackson Rose to tie it. Georgetown had a chance. Had the ball with 10 seconds left after a timeout, after a face-off win, but Lucas Lawis with his 15th save. And now, face-offs again, even, 16-16. Riley against Williams. Riley wins it, keeps it, even with the check. Georgetown has it, 